The basic process for a role-playing session involves asking the students to consider a contemporary situation that parallels what's going on in the Shakespearean text. So we're going to start by using role-play as an entry point into a piece of text. So we'll, we'll role-play a contemporary scene. The goal of this lesson is to help the students realize that Shakespeare is totally connected to who they are, even though the plays are over 400 years old. What I like to do during a role play session is give my students an opportunity to find a really great connection to the script even before we get into it. So what I ask the students to do is to think about a situation that, that most people are involved in at some point or another in life. How many of you have ever been in an argument with somebody else? Okay. And again, it's a rare day that, that no one's hand goes up. What we're gonna do now and we look at the different components, the different strategies people use to, to argue their position. And then after we talk about the components of a good argument, we set up a situation that they might run into, and we cast the different students in different roles. Let's set up a contemporary situation. Let's have a, a romantic couple, all right? And let's say they've had a fight. I mean, you already bought three purses this week. I'd mean, like to just do the Applebee's thing tonight, if that'd be okay. Don't you think I deserve three purses? <laughs> Once we role play that situation, we then process it a little bit. All right, what did you notice? What was working? What wasn't working? What did you notice about body language? And then I asked them to look at a specific piece of text. You've got some characteristics of a good argument there. You've got to put down. And you're going to find that in line 61. You're going to find some passive aggressive behavior in line 62. Name calling in line 63. I give them line references. And I ask them to read the lines. And I ask them to look for the different types of devices that we've just used for role playing the contemporary scene in the Shakespearean scene. We then read through the scene. Once they've read through it, we then ask the students to get up on their feet and become the characters in the scene and role play it using contemporary language. All right, what is it you want? Because everything that you're doing is wrecking nature. Then have the kids take the text itself and actually do a stage reading of the scene where they're using all of the techniques that they've discovered and the body language and some of the positioning that was working well for them when they were just doing the role play on the fly. And your little buskin mistress and your warrior love, to Theseus must be winning, and you come to give their bed joy and prosperity. How can thus shame Titania glance at my credit with Hippolyta? Knowing I know thy love to Theseus. So you go from a role play in a contemporary situation to looking at how the text mirrors it to role playing Shakespeare's text and then to actually having the students up on their feet reading through the text in character. Am I not thy lord? Then I must be thy lady. But I know what thou hast stolen away from fairyland. I think. One of the most important things that teachers should remember about Shakespeare is to trust their students enough and to trust the language enough to let there be the performance component. Now the scene that we're working with in this curriculum session involves A Midsummer Night's Dream. The beauty of role play is that it's a strategy that can be applied to any of the plays. It works with the soliloquies, it works with the monologues, it works with scenes, and it's a perfect way to help the students become connected on a personal level with what's happening in the Shakespeare.